Hi, and welcome back to SoFlo Dining, South Florida's premier dining blog. I'm Chef Dan. This is Doris with a D. Hi, welcome back. Welcome back. In this edition, we're going to talk to you about the library. Not your local library, the library in St. Pete. That's the west coast of Florida. <laughs> the west coast of Florida. Yes. Yes. So, how did you hear about this place? Um, I heard about this place um, when we were going to stay in St. Pete on one of our visits. Um, I did a little research because I know we we're going to be spending some time over there. And uh, this is one of the restaurants that was highly rated. Um, I went through a lot of reviews and, you know, I put some feelers out there. We got some recommendations. Mm -hmm. And, um, yeah, it was a very good call. <laughs> I'll say. Yeah. <laughs> we even took the opportunity to get lifted there. Yes, we took a lift um, because we were staying right down the road. Mm -hmm. uh, very convenient, so I can't speak about parking or, oh. or driving there because we lift it. Didn't have to worry. Yeah. <laughs> lift is an awesome idea, too. Yeah. Uh, so what was your first impression? First impression? Mm -hmm. um, first impression, well, first of all, it's located inside the Johns Hopkins uh, Children's Research Hospital. Mm -hmm. And like I knew it was around there, but I didn't realize it was really in there. They have a full corner to themselves, too. A full corner. To yes, the, it's and, very impressive. Yep. Yeah. And, well, what I read was that it was inspired by uh, Peabody, mm -hmm. who was into writing children's books and uh, using ther the books for therapy for children. Mm -hmm. um, they wanted to put that in there and make that the theme. Um, when we came up to it, there's floor-to-ceiling uh, windows. Right. And you look in, and it's like a 19th century library mm -hmm. where the the um, the books are in two levels, like kind of like when you need the ladder to go up there, mm -hmm. and all the books right. are light blue. Yeah, I know. Right? I thought that they're, was so cool. They're all light blue. <laughs> Even um, your check comes inside yeah, a book. The, the check comes <laughs> in a blue book. Um, but as you walk in from the outside, they have an outside area, and that's very nice, very elegant out there. Very nice. Um, not your not your regular outdoors. It's, it's kind of something, and I, and I think I put it in a blog. It, you would find it in like Lower Manhattan, yeah. you know, very very sharp, you know, nice. Yeah. Um, we walked in, and again, it, the place is incredible. Just you know, it's like you're in a library. <laughs> so yeah, that's my, that's my first impression. Yeah, my first impression when we walked in. Um, was the bar right oh yeah I, I just found it so huge so wow you know like the wow right. factor right was it, there, fit, it fit you know? that theme though oh it certainly did really you know? really nice that one angle we were at in the in the picture in the blog it, uh -huh. it looks like a tower almost yes yeah yes and even though we had reservations um, we arrived a little early, and right. uh, there was no room at the bar. Right. And uh, we went and we sat down over the where little, that nice area that was. The little seating area, right? Yes, yes. It's a nice little seating area, but also you could see that they had coffee, they had tea, they had all kinds of uh, baked, baked yeah. goods and stuff like that. And I thought and that right was above really that, nice. Books. <laughs> books. Well, the second level was like more like books. blue yep. books. <laughs> yeah. It was really, really nice. Um, and then we did get an, uh, an opportunity to go over to the bar. Right. And when we did, our table, our was, table ready, was ready. So we didn't even get to order at the bar, right. which was okay. Um, well, no, we did We did get a chance to look at the, the menu, yes. the, the, the bar menu, yes. which was very unique, um, very different, and very creative. Yeah. I, I mean, really, yeah. it was a very creative uh, bar menu. Mm hmm. Yeah, and we were offered to sit there, but we decided to go to our table, which yes. was really yes. nice. I'm glad we did. Um, we had a really nice conversation. We sparked up a conversation with the people who were sitting next to us. Yes. Kendra and London. Right. Oh, yeah. They gave us some good recommendations for our next visit. Oh, absolutely. For sure. That was awesome. Yeah. Um, what about the menu options and the variety? The menu options, is a very nice, well-rounded menu, mm -hmm. a good variety. Um, I was torn between a couple things, and, and um, our server, Madison, she guided me on yeah. what to pick. She was pretty awesome. She was, she was. <laughs> I um, really enjoyed her company. But, um, yeah, I, I really, I like the variety, yes. Uh -huh. A very good, you know, good mix of things. In fact, when we go back, I'm going to probably have totally different things again. Probably, Except yeah. for one item. What's that? You're going to have the old-fashioned, aren't you? No, the grilled octopus. Oh, yes. Definitely. Our appetizer was grilled octopus like we have never had before. It's one of my uh, top two favorite grilled octopuses that I've that I've ever had. Mm -hmm. The best the this smoky. year, definitely. Yeah, the smoky the flavor. Smoky the grill flavor. was perfect. The 
all the accompaniment that came with it. Oh, delicious. Mm -hmm. um, what about the drinks and service? The drink. The drink. Uh, well, same thing. I was I went with the uh, the library old fashioned, mm -hmm. and uh, Madison recommended I go with the uh, barrel aged um, coconut cartel. Yep, and that was perfect. Yeah, perfect. I mean, yeah, yeah. I would and have as, that again anytime. Yeah, yeah. No, and as usual, I had the the mule, the mule. and it turns out that the mule is Madison's favorite too. <laughs> and she apologized for not having tin cups, and I was okay. You know, as long as yeah. we get a good mule going, I'm happy. <laughs> so yeah, that and the seared octopus, all amazing. Now amazing. let's talk about what we ate our oh, yeah. dinner. I had the uh, seared scallops. Mm -hmm. um, let me think. You Again, had, thanks to Madison. And you had the bolognese. Yes, the, the beef papita. bolognese. Yeah. yeah, with bucatini. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it was awesome. It was, I mean, both dishes, incredible. Um, and again, all the accompaniments, incredible. Um, I was going to say, oh, your bolognese. Most bolognese, they come with a bowl of pasta and the bolognese plopped in the middle. Right. Yours was all throughout. And I could honestly say, I think there was more meat than pasta. There was. I mean, it was incredible. It, it definitely it was, was. It was. It was like you were eating at Grandma's kitchen, you know, or something like that. And the fresh like basil in there. I mean, I loved mine, but I was loving yours. <laughs> well, it reminded me of my Aunt Josephine's <laughs> <Yep>. <laughs> when we were growing up back in the South Bronx. So, yeah, yep. that, it was really, really fabulous. My uh, seared scallops, they were like, they were like eating butter. I mean... Perfectly seared, cooked so throughout, delicious. and just so soft, so tender. Mm -hmm. Yeah, delicious. <laughs> and um, for dessert, for dessert, we had the tiramisu. Mm. Oh yeah, the tiramisu. Yeah, tiramisu I, and pork fight too. I almost got a for, I almost got a fork <laughs> in my hand. I I overstepped my bounds on the on the tiramisu. I, I didn't see the line that somebody drew across the middle of it. <laughs> like I said, tiramisu and fork fight too. Yeah, it, it was. <laughs> Yeah. It was delicious. Delicious. I mean, yeah, I loved it. It I, certainly was. What was your overall impression? Overall impression is we got to go back. Absolutely. I mean, for me, um, I want to say, like, St. Pete is like a hotbed of culinary places. Delights. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, you have a little bit of every nationality, every background, all yeah. in that little area. Oh, yeah. um, but I really want to go back here. Because, like I said, everything was so good. I really want to go back to that restaurant. And there's, there's more. I want to try more. Awesome. Recommendations and cost. Recommendation. Definitely the seared, the seared octopus, uh -huh. without a doubt. <laughs> um, for me, if you like seafood, go with the scallops. If you're not a seafood eater, go with the bolognese. Oh, my goodness. And there's again, so many more things on well, the Well, I was going to say, again, I really didn't have the whole menu. Mm -hmm. um, we will be back again. Absolutely. And most likely writing again. Of course. Um, but, yeah, right now, the, the, those two are like hits. For sure. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. We will definitely be back. Yep. Did you want to add anything else before we go? Uh, no, just uh, really. It's a very unique restaurant. Um, again, I really, I never really go into the bar menus of the places, but mm -hmm. I love their, their specialty drinks or house uh, drinks. Mm -hmm. They're very good, very creative. Um, yeah. I think we even have a picture of it, right? Y yes. That if, we include with yes, the if you go to the blog... Uh, on yeah. soulflowdining.com, mm -hmm. you can see the menu, the the drink menu, and um, yeah, yeah. It's one of the, one of the rare times that I did that because again, it was so unique. Mm -hmm. So, anyway, as always, enjoy, and I'll see you there. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Check us out, soulflowdining.com. Check out all our reviews. Um, we're close to two hundred reviews, mm -hmm. and we go as south as Havana, and we go all the way up into Orlando, I think. Yeah, we do. So, yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. anyway, we'll uh, take And now care. to the West Coast. Yep, now to the West Coast. So, Which is awesome. Keep watching. We're always growing. Thank you so much. Till then, bye. Bye.